What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is of course Oprelia here and today we're going to be doing a sponsored review out of Fodor AI which is one of these all-in-one platforms that can pretty much basically do everything. It can generate images, you can do a bunch of different alterations to your photos and images, AI upscaling, magic erasure, watermark remover and all types of stylized changes into your images and it also has video editing features so there's bunch of different stuff that you can do here. We won't be able to go absolutely into everything, otherwise this would be a one hour video. But let's kind of dive into some of their recent features that we are basically able to push out. So for example, we have this AI clothes changer. So let's try this one out first. I just picked up a random image over here on the internet. And here I'm like, hey, what can we change over here into, okay, this girl looks like a bit like an OnlyFans star, maybe put her into something a bit more classy. And let's see how basically this works out. There's different types of clothes opportunities here. There's full outfits and then there's also bottoms. And this probably is going to be working out a lot more better on images that have white on the background. So more like render style images. But in case you're just looking to maybe add an image to your portfolio, you don't own a suit, maybe you want to just generate a suit with the image a tool here. And this is just like one of many different AI tools that they have here. But my, meanwhile, this is generating. Let's look into some of the other stuff here. They have also recently added out a video image feature. So this is reference to video. You can add multiple different images together and you can make them do different types of things. So let's say we're going to be uploading from the computer. We're going to be adding a couple of different images over here. So let's try out this. We have a bit of a look into the clouds and then let's add some type of another character here. Okay, let's go with that. A penguin or should I say golden penguin flying in the clouds. And the generations obviously are going to be costing a lot more based on the duration. Obviously, some of the features I'm going to be showing you here today are behind their different subscription models. One of the things that I should also mention is that they do have an actual reward system where you are able to do different types of small tasks. And these will allow you to basically get more credits by doing so. So. If you want to do one more stuff to credits, well, then you can just do these. And there's also a daily check-in, which will give you more and more credits on the platform. Let's see if this was okay. Okay, there, there we go. We have now actually a blazer. It gives us two different options. And that is pretty damn good. Okay, this is very realistic. Then we can put up apply. And there's like skin retouch. Like that's pretty crazy. AI heart hairstyle. Let's try if we can try to alter that. Let's make a bit more. <laughs> let's go with Afro and let's go with this color over here. Okay, face proportion small. Okay, this is more for like headshots apparently. Discard. And as you can see, there's crazy amounts of different things. Let's try to turn this into an anime next. And they have clay portraits, claymation, a lot of different things over here. This is also coming out pretty fast. Let's look into some other features over here. We have watermark remover. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. You have maybe text on images. Let me try to find something that has a text on it. Let's say we're going to be adding out one of my thumbnails from my last video. Now let's say, okay, I don't like the font over here. Likes to use the magic eraser over here. Can we remove this? This would be very easy to remove in the first place, but let's just give it a shot here. Can it actually remove this? And this is, seems to be pretty fast, but yeah, okay. Well, not the most best quality. Maybe you can try another, again, another time. And that was not a penis, guys. <laughs> okay, that was just a accident of the nature. So a pretty good, okay, eraser tool. Uh, there's a quick select as well. This allows you to select different parts about on the image. Maybe we can, this character, remove it. And we just leave out like the, the city background. Okay, pretty good. It didn't fill out everything with the city, but like, okay. You can do a lot of stuff here. Let's go back into here. We now transform the image into an anime one. Let's try an American comic over here. So as I said, there's a lot of different things that you can do on this platform. Let's see. Wow, this is actually pretty good quality. I wonder what it's using. It's not actually flying, but it's obviously because the 
the way that the models are, like the both are horizontal, this didn't turn out to be that good. But damn, this is actually not too bad. And then there's a video enhancer feature over here where you can basically edit in and we can upscale it. And this is gonna be taking it to a better quality. So as I said, there's a lot of different stuff here available. We can also create out a logos here. So logos are more harder to do in terms of like something that has a text. So let's say create anime girl logo with purple themes wearing a medieval helmet. I don't even know how to describe my current avatar, but medieval helmet and has the text Aprelia. And we can do a couple of different tries here. We're gonna go generate that one. There's also AI sticker. So let's say deer sticker that has the text Aprelia. Let's see, let's try that one. Let's do a couple of prompts on those. Um, this we already kind of touched upon. There's also a like AI artifacts. So you can basically make different versions out of your images. We kind of went already into this a bit on, on the other one. Let's go back into the tab. Here we have an American cartoon version. This is not as good. The eyes kind of get weird, but hey, it's somewhat. Let's try with that. There's also scenes. Let's, let's look at those once that is loaded up. And here we have the quality of this. Let's see if this one, okay, this will take quite some time. Leave. Okay, here we have some logos and damn, this is a vector image far as I know. And the font is pretty good. Like these, wow, okay, these are very impressive. Very impressive. And this is like, yeah, the fonts are matching. There's no, no typos here. I mean, this is very good. And even if we would have, and there has a different, let's try to do a 3D pink wipe. Let's try to do another set of these images, but damn, that's impressive. And here are the stickers, okay, was not able to do what exactly we were trying to do. It's not probably able to support text. But these are definitely vector images and they are stickers. This is not maybe that as good of a sticker. And this one is also pretty good. So these are, yeah. So if you're looking to do a children's book or something, you want to print something for your children. This is another nice feature. What else did we have? This we already touched upon a bit. And what was the last tab that I had here? Okay, this is the reference reference stuff. So there's, I mean, okay, we have another alteration here. The style, the image is kind of consistent. This also kind of looks a bit wonky. What else do we have here? You can add the coloring here to the image, like a lighting on camera, camera filters, warm winter, okay. Black and white, analog. There's a lot of stuff here. But let's actually try to do, can we, how do we actually go in back? Let's do bold line cartoon next. And let me just go through a bit of the features over here. So what do we have? AI upscaler, magic eraser, watermark we already went through, the silhouette, that's a pretty cool feature for thumbnails. You can close and open eyes, age changer, expression changer, skin retouch, restoring photos. They're never usually this good, but maybe it needs a bit of actually trying out. We could, I don't actually have any old photos, but usually, they just kind of add color, but we will see. We have AI replace, AI expand, BG remover, change background, blur background, face mimic, cartoonizer, face swap. We have sketch, minifigure, a quick design. So there's also YouTube thumbnails that you can do with this. And it's just like a lot of different stuff. And then there's obviously the whole video editing tab over here. So we have text to video, image to video, the kissing we already went through, reference the video we already tried out. And that was very impressive. First and last frames. Okay, this one looks really cool, this Lego stuff. And then we have video BG remover. I haven't seen that on any, anywhere else, actually. Video enhancer. This is for upscaling your videos. We kind of tried that one out for this one. So it's a very impressive platform. Okay, this one is actually not too bad either. But can we actually add the original image? Let me see. Okay, there we go. And I wanted to try out something something still different so okay these are like pretty fast fixes so like instagram filters basically these are pretty good pretty good i have to say their hairstyles ai avatar caricature clothes changer that was very impressive open eyes some of these features are behind a paywall so you're not able to access absolutely everything on the free plan and the credits 
but I have to say I'm pretty happy with the creation. So I was able to a couple of images that I was able to generate on their platform. So I think this is using stable diffusion most likely on the on the back front, or maybe this is not cling, but flux. Yeah, that was the one. Let me see if that and here we got an AI upscaling enhanced version. It's only three seconds though. But we can see definitely that there are some, some elements do look better. The penguin looks a lot better, but the clouds look a bit more blurry in my opinion, I have to say. But that basically wraps up my thoughts about the platform. It's very impressive. Like the most impressive thing here overall is the logo creator. I haven't seen anything this impressive so far. I'm very impressed by the quality of these images and how realistic it's trying to be. Only if you could also add like a reference image to it. So I could create like a new logo based on my current one. But thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more reviews on the channel. Check out the other things. And in case you want to try photo out, you can find a, a link in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you next time.